Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Neon and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we'll be checking out the Mecha Spirit Bloodline in Shindo Life as requested by you guys on our Discord yet again. Um, also, before we get into it, I'll be putting the link to our Discord server in the description um, because if you just want to join or you want to give me some video recommendations, feel free to do that. Um, but also, one last thing, um, I'm pretty sure we hit like 500 subscribers today, which is awesome. So um, I'll be putting a screenshot up on the screen. Um, so thank you so much for that. Maybe I'll do a stream for it pretty soon. Anyways, um, apart from that, Mecha Spirit is a clan bloodline with a rarity of 1 out of 150. Mecha Spirit's moveset revolves around long ranged and area of effects attacks. In case you don't know what that is, it's just AoE. And uh, basically, they just explode and burn, which is really cool. It has probably, I think, like the highest ranged M1s in the game, I'm pretty sure, which is really cool. And um, the second mode just looks awesome in general. Uh, but, anyways, let's get right into it. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do is mode up. Here we go. As you can see, probably one of the better looking modes in Shindle Life. As you can see, basically, like, shit just flies at us. Kind of like that like that one scene out of Iron Man 3, which is really cool, as you can see. Um, you know, not a bad looking bloodline at all whatsoever. Anyways, let's get on to the first move. All right, so the first move that we have is called Missile Bullets. There we go. Did about 127,000 damage to two logs, so divide that by two. It does about 60,000 damage when in the mode. Now, the second ability is called Ultrasonic Beam, as you can see. You have to aim at them, uh, which is a really interesting ability. Not a lot of abilities like that in Shindle Life. Basically, you just kind of fucking fly at them. And then uh, you throw them in the air, throw them down, slam them down. And then you have like this beam that you can control, which is really cool. And the last one is called Spirit Bomb Blast. You see? Really cool. Very similar to one of the abilities from Boromaki Gaiden. Uh, now it is time for the Q spec, as you can see. Eh... I mean, it has cool sound effects. I'll give it that. Anyways, now time for the C-Spec. There we go. There we go. Not a bad C-Spec at all, but, you know, it also has a very large AoE um, kind of like area. It hit this log all the way over there, and I'll start getting this one. And now it's time for the second mode, as you can see. Also, one thing that I do want to mention... Jesus, that's fucking loud. One thing that I want to mention is that uh, to get this one, you have to like be in the bloodline and then level it up another 350 levels. It has two separate modes, so it levels up the uh, bloodline uh, mode when you're in the mode differently. But apart from that, as you can see, we have this big ass kind of Susano like thing, which looks fucking awesome. I don't know if you guys can see. I'm going to turn off the UI real quick so that you guys can see a little better. It looks awesome. Also, um, I'm going to show you how long range the M1s are, as you can see. Look how long like... It kind of shoots from the back, which is really cool. Um, also, you can kind of aim them, uh, which is really nice. But uh, you can fuck around with your friends with this a lot. So it's just a really interesting bloodline nonetheless. But it does drain chi. That's that's one thing I will say. Um, anyways, the only really different things I think is the Z spec and the Q spec. Uh, but as you can see, Q spec. It kind of just shoots at them. Basically like the first ability, but a little better. Um, and then the Z spec basically the same exact thing but instead of throwing them like up in the air it just kind of does aod uh, aoe damage i mean um but apart from that that's basically the entire bloodline has to offer not a bad bloodline whatsoever but oh also um it's an ekg as you can see you can equip them to your left elemental slots which is really nice um not a bad bloodline whatsoever but i wouldn't really recommend using it because it doesn't really have a lot of potential like other bloodlines but apart from that there's not much else to say um so if you enjoyed the video make sure to like and subscribe um yeah, I mean, we hit 500 subscribers today, so that's something to be very happy about. There's the second ability again. Here's the first, and here's the last. There we go. Anyways, if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe, and I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. So yeah, peace out, guys.